We now know everything we need to complete our calculation for the weight average molecular weight for the case of combination termination in free radical polymerization. Remember that we were kind of stuck with this term here, Ni, which represents the number of molecules of length I, because it involved this term N total, which is the total number of dead polymer in the system. We just obtained an expression for N total in terms of the product N naught over two times one minus beta, where N naught is the total number of polymerized monomers in the system. So now with this substitution, we can obtain an expression for Ni equal to N naught over two times one minus beta cubed times I minus one times beta to the I minus two. Now we can substitute this into our expression for the weight average molecular weight. Remember we express that as the quantity M naught I times the weight fraction of polymers of length I. And if we expand that out, uh, we have Ni Mi over W total. Remember that Mi, the molecular weight of a chain of length I is equal to I times the monomer molecular weight. We said that the total weight is equal to the total number of polymerized monomers times the monomer molecular weight. And Ni we calculated up here. So with this substitution, then N naught cancels, terms combine. And we end up with an expression for the weight average molecular weight as M naught over two times one minus beta cubed times the summation of I squared times I minus one times beta to the I minus two. Now you can probably guess that this summation is going to have a relationship where it converges to some uh, finite expression in terms of beta, uh, just as has been the case for the previous analysis we've done and that turns out to be true. This summation, I squared times I minus one times beta to the I minus two converges to two times two plus beta over one minus beta to the fourth. With the usual caveats that we're talking about a large ensemble and the magnitude of beta is less than one. So with this final substitution then, we can obtain an expression for the weight average molecular weight M naught times two plus beta over one minus beta. So I hope you can see that even though uh, we have this combination termination that doesn't seem to be such a big deal, you're just combining two active chains, it really complicates our analysis quite a bit as compared with the case of disproportionation termination. We can also calculate the polydispersity index now because it's the ratio of the weight average to the number average molecular weight, and we find that this is equal to two plus beta over two. So for high molecular weight polymers, that would correspond to a value of beta approaching one or a high probability of propagation versus termination. This ratio converges to a value of 1.5. So that's interesting because remember for disproportionation termination, uh, the polydispersity index converges to a value of two. So combination termination gives us uh, a less polydispersed sample than disproportionation.